Hello, fourth year, how are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. Well, today is Thursday, the 4th of June. Uh, remember, uh, su hijo tendrá revisión el día 8 del 6 de la unidad 6. Now, yes, it's unit 6. Yes, it will be unit 6. Okay, we are going to, today we are going to check pages 44, 45, 46, 47, and um, 47, sorry, for activity book. Mistakes from the video, uh, Paula, you sent me the video, um, it was well done, no mistakes there. Um, there. There is one that was, uh, Camila's was late, so I couldn't correct it yet, I will correct during these days, yes, okay. So I will send you the comments and you will see your mistakes. Uh, Tiago, you did a hunting. Yes, so uh, there was only Paula's, all right? Only one video, all right? Good. Uh, we're building verbs, uh, nouns, verbs, and adverbs in stories, yes? Uh, in, today we are going to see news a news story, yes? Okay, because uh, you have to write a news story in about 150 words, yes, that is the exercise 5 from page 77 from the classroom, yes, okay? And you have to do pages 48, 49 and 50, only the exercise that are between brackets. And then you have uh, page 4, see the difference, okay, some words we are going to use in class, okay? Good, shall we check the activity book, okay? Your video was amazing, darling, yes, okay, all the things you say, uh, your opinion, really, it's very, very interesting, okay? Right, so let's go to page 44, page 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, Long time? Yes, okay. Long one, long time, two, as long as, three, too long, four, as long as, yes, okay, uh, five, all night long, all night long, there is a song, yes, okay, six, long enough, seven, as long as, as long as you love me, there was a group called the Backstreet Boys, yes, and that was the song, as long as you love me. Yes, it was from the 90s, okay? Well, eight, my sister used to like this group, okay? Eight, long, yes, number five, uh, no, yes, number five, from page 45, or page 45, five, six, and seven, all right? Good, 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 five, six, and seven, okay. One, so that, I want you to study so that you can pass the next exam, okay? Four, number three, four, number four, four, number five, two, number six, so that, number seven, two, number eight, four. Exercise six, one, B. Why did you decide to do the exam? So that I could, yes, or improve my CV or to improve my, my CV. Both possibilities are okay. Number two, D. Why has Danny gone to town today? Four. Or to pick up, or so that he can pick up the tickets for the holiday. Yes, okay. If you remember, if you decide to put so that, verb plus uh, noun, uh, subject, and verb. Yes, plus complement. So that he could, so that I could. And if you decide to put two, to infinitive, okay? Number three C. What's that new machine in your kitchen? It's for making four plus ing. So that I can make or to make. So there's three possibilities. What's um, that machine? Is to open, yes, okay, teams. What's that tool? Is to open teams. Is for open opening team. So that you can open the team easily. Is it clear? So you have the three possibilities, but you have to pay attention, concentrate, focus on the grammar. All right? Good. For E. Why are you waiting here for... See, to see, also that I can see the cycle race when it passes. Number five, A, why are you ha ha in a hurry? I'm hungry, <laughs> yes, okay. So that I can, or to get, because it's time for, 
for lunch, yes, okay? I'm recording the classes at this time, okay? Good. Um, so that I can, or to get home before it rains. 6F, wa what's fit track? It's an app for counting, so that you can count or to count, okay? Is it clear? Yes? Good, good, good. Wait a minute. I need to make this note. These notes. All right. Good. Well, so let's go to exercise seven. One C. Let's go to the beach tomorrow. It looks as if or as though. Yes. Or like it's going to rain. So you have the three possibility. As if. Yes. Okay. As if. As though. Or like. All right. Good. Well done. Uh, number two F. This cube is really long. It looks as if or as though or like will be here for hours. Three A. Why is the car making that noise? It sounds as if or as though or, or like a bit is falling off. Number four, H. Why are you so red? You look as if or as though or like you've been for a run. 5B. Paco is very happy today. He looks as if or as though or like he had a nice weekend. 6E. Jenna and Tara have left the office, the office already. It looks as if or as though or like they've missed their work. 17. Susan said she's busy on Sunday. It sounds as if or as though or like she's not coming to lunch. Yes? H. G. Your holiday photos are great. It looks as if or as though or like you had a good time. Yes? Okay? Is it clear? Good. Let's go to pages 46 and 47. Okay? 46 and 47. Statue and hats. Yes, these are Moai statue and Hukao hats. Number two. Yes, okay. More than 800. Three, volcanic stone. About 400 years old. Five, no, some of Moai have hats. No, the Moai and hats are made of from diff, made from different type of rocks. Yes. Okay. It's uh, near the coast of Chile. Yes. Okay. Good. Well. Okay. So number three, one falls, two true, three falls, four true, five falls, six true. Okay. I need to look because you know I will get lost. Four, five, and six. Okay. Four, five, and six. One must. 2 could, 3 must, 4 can't, 5 could, and 6 must. Number 5, may have been, can't have been, must have been. Number 6, 1 must have been, 2 can't, can't have been, 3 must have had, 4 might have been, 5 might have been, and 6 could have thumb. Okay, remember you have to um, see if it is a moral in the present must have uh, to yes can could plus infinitive or if it is moral in the past could have plus the third column the past participle could have gone i could have studied i should have told you okay is it clear yes should have could have plus the past participle the third column of the verbs okay is it clear so i want you to go very quickly Two pages, okay, okay, 74, 75, 76, and 77. 74, 75, 76, 77, and then we are going to finish with 80. You know, we always do the exercises from page 80 because uh, it's the kind of uh, revision, yes, okay? Some exercises you have there. And from page 80, we are going to do exercises 1, 2, 4, and 6, yes, from page 80. Circle please. One, 
two, four, and six. All right? Yes? Okay. Do you know uh, where is Amalia, uh, Amelia Earhart? Yes? You know who she was? Yes or no? Okay? Well, um, it was a brave, a brave, she was a brave woman. Yes? Okay. She was a very strong woman. Yes, okay. And uh, she was lost. Yes, okay. Uh, she's lost. Yeah, she hasn't appeared. Yes, okay. She was trying to cross the Pacific uh, um, Ocean. And I don't know, they say that uh, maybe she ran out of fuel. Yes, and she crashed. Yes, okay. Um, well, you will read. Yes, okay. Uh, three, the three theor theories, okay. On page 75, yes, okay. Lost and found, the missing pilot. Yes, so you have the three th theories. And, you know, this is a new story. Yes, you know. Okay, this is a new story. All right, so you have a title. Yes, no sé si les dieron en lengua, pero generalmente lo que está that is under the title se llama copete. Yes, it's, it's a, a short, a brief summary or what is, uh, what is the text going to be about. Yes, okay. Well, you have the, the words there. Yes, okay. So you are going to read at home because it's very interesting. I consider her, uh, she was one of the first women that fly, yes, along. Yes, and you will uh, see in the Atlantic Ocean, yes, she, she fly along, yes, across the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, then uh, she planned to land on a tiny Pacific Ocean island on Holland, just north of the equator, yes. She never arrived, yes, okay. And you will um, read the three theories, okay. Yes, I think she was a very great woman. She was a strong woman. Strong woman. She was the first uh, aviator, uh, woman aviator. Yes, and I think she was strong. Yeah, she was uh, um, brave also. Yes, because at those periods, a woman being a pilot. Yes, nowadays we we have we continue having problems. Yes, uh, with equal rights for women. Yes, so um, I really liked her. Yes, I want you to read her story. They are the three th theories. And think about uh, what you think. Yes, we, which of the three theories do you consider was the right one? Yes, okay. Um, another said that, you know, another theory said that she was captured while on a secret mission to Japanese, to the Japanese control Marshall Islands in the North Pacific and eventually return to the USA with a new identity. Do you believe that? Okay, I don't know. Yes, but um, let's think about it. Yes, okay. Because she never appeared. Uh, it was lost there. Yes, nobody could find her. Yes, okay. But I want you to read this. Yes, but I consider this woman a very brave woman for those periods. Yes, a very intelligent woman. She, uh, she, was, um, she was given many uh, awards, yes, okay? So she, she had an interesting life and she looks very happy, yes, okay? Well, I want you to do exercises one, three, four, highlight the words. These are the words that you have here, yes? Pay four, finance, see the difference, distinguish. Yes, the other day, I saw a man in the streets, she was an addict, she was addicted to any kind of drug, I don't know which drug, but it was a strong drug, yes, and I think he couldn't distinguish between real thing, yes, and imaginary things, yes, okay, so he couldn't see the difference, okay, then you have small amounts, samples, um, are you used to taking samples when you go to samples of perfumes when you go to the shopping? Yes, okay. And then you have caught put in prison. Did you know that uh, 
that drug dealer, the famous drug dealer, a famous drug dealer of Colombia was captured, put into prison, was caught. Yes, so you have the three synonyms there. Uh, trying, attending, yes. Um, exactly the same, identical. Okay, my nieces are identical. They are twin, they are exactly the same. Yes, okay. And these are um, the words you have there in this text. Yes, okay. So now remember to pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. Okay, is it clear? Good, 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 good. Um, let me see. Okay, remember you have to um, explain. Yes, because I was uh, seeing this. Yes, okay. Remember you have to do the brainstorming and explain all the merchant of Venice. That's why I give you a, a long time, many classes, for you to uh, organize your brainstorming, organize your ideas, and on the video you will tell the story. Remember these are, um, I need this uh, video, I need you to pay attention because these are going to be the, um, the grades, yes, the grades for Literatura, literatura Complementaria, for the uh, report cards, okay? Is it clear? So, concentrate and send the video, please. O si no te va a quedar el casillero ese sin nada. Yes, okay? Well, all right, so uh, let's go to lost and found. Yes, uh, number two. Well, so you have to look at the photo. We have already talked about Amelia. Amelia, yes, okay? Uh, Amelia Earhart was a famous pilot. She flew across the Atlantic Ocean. In the photo, she's just landed her plane. She lived until she was 100 years old. Yes, okay. Well, these are the things we have to talk about. Yes, what you think about her, if you know her. She is very famous. She appears in all the books of history. Yes, okay. Everybody knows who she was. Okay. A statement one and two are true. A statement three could be true, but people are uh waving so it's more likely to be uh false okay exercise three let's go there yes statement four is isn't true she never arrived on island in homeland so we can assume she died on her flight yes and she wasn't a hundred years old when she set off number three yes mm -hmm. so we are discussing the three theories okay well, number three, one, the theory that Erhard landed on Nikuma, oh my God, Nikuma Roro. Two, DNA sampling, yes. Three, there you have the word sampling. It will prove, it will prove that a bone found on the island on blah, 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 is Erhard's and that she died there. About 90, 90%, 99% of the, Oh my God, I didn't know that. Yes, okay. So the team needs to have enough material to show that the DNA belongs to Erhard and nobody else. Yes, because we know that uh, it's a 90% of the genoma humano, yes, that is identical among all human. Yes, so that the, the team needs to have enough material to show that the DNA was Erhard. It belongs to her, belongs to her. Number four. Fina financing, distinguish, samples, capture, attempting, and identical. Yes, okay? So these are the words you have there. Yes, okay? Good. Uh, well, so let's go to, I want you to highlight the word building section. Yes, highlight the grammar chart there. And do exercise seven, okay? Yes, pause the video, do the activities and then play it again. Fly is a verb. Land, a verb. Books, noun. Records, noun. Records, noun. Record, with a different pronunciation, is the verb, okay? Sorry. Contact, yes, noun. Contact is the verb. Plan, test, and our verbs and remains, noun, okay? Good. So, um... Let's go, I want you to highlight uh, genome, yes, genoma, genome, yes, genome, okay, navigator, saliva, yes, and sealed, yes, okay. 
is under the text, okay? So let's go to 78 and 77, yes, okay. From 76, we are going to do exercises one, two, three, and that's all, okay? So we are going to listen to three conversations about news item. Choose the best headline. You know, headlines are very important. I'm going to show you an example too, but then, first of all, we are going to do the exercises, all right? Good, good, good. Track 51, Unit 6D, 1. You have to choose the best headline, or A or B, in each case, okay? And that story about the sheep? No, I don't think so. What was it about? Apparently, they reflect the sun back into the atmosphere because they're so white. Oh, yeah? And then the heat from the sun gets trapped, so it makes everything hotter. So they think... So we have scaped... Sheep take over London Park, sheep in loca in global warming shock, false bank notes alert. Yes, you know, all the um the um, headlines are in what tense? Look, well done, present simple, yes, yeah? so pay attention when you write, yeah. Sheep cause global warming. Come off it. Well, that's what it says in the paper today. You're having me on. It does. Here, look. Hmm, that can't be right. Hang on a minute. What? And also, I'm going to repeat, and also you use passive voice for headlines too. Yes? All right? Robbers were caught at 7.30 yesterday. Okay? So now you use present simple, you use passive voice. Okay? Is it clear? I will play it again. No worries. One. Did you hear that story about the sheep? No, I don't think so. What was it about? Apparently, they reflect the sun back into the atmosphere because they're so white. Oh, yeah? And then the heat from the sun gets trapped, so it makes everything hotter. So they think sheep cause global warming. Come off it. Well, that's what it says in the paper today. You're having me on. It does. Here, look. Hmm, that can't be right. Hang on a minute. What's the date today? Two. Let me have a look at those 20 euro notes for a moment. Why? The blue ones are no good. They're forged. You must be joking. All 20 euro notes are blue. Not the real ones. Are you sure? I'm absolutely positive. The girl at the travel agents told me. It was on the news last night. They must have made a mistake. Oh no, we've just changed all this money. What are we going to do? Hmm. I don't know. But it is the 1st of April today. Oh, honestly, I really believed you. Three. Dad, did you see the news about petrol prices? They've gone down to almost half the price. Really? How come? I don't know. But anyway, I've put petrol in the car. Great. Hold on. Did you say petrol? Yeah. Are you serious? The car uses diesel, not petrol. Huh? I know, but petrol is so much cheaper. Yes, but... I'm sorry. Did I do something wrong? Diesel engines don't work with petrol. You must know that. Oh, this is going to cost me a fortune. Dad? Yes? Suppose I managed to drive the car home then? April Fool! It's the 1st of April! Okay, it was, yeah, she was joking, yes, okay? Good, Via de los Inocentes, yes, she was joking. Okay, good. 1B, 2A, 3B, yes, okay? Uh, what is the problem? Yes, one, does the second speaker believe the first speaker? 
What is the date? Okay, number one, sheep are reflecting the sun back into the atmosphere because of these, because they are very white, because of these, uh, uh, and these causes are uh, global warming. Yes, okay, I think we are joking. Yes, number two, no, number three, first of April. Okay, good. Look at the expressions, and I want you to highlight the expressions there. Okay. And we're going to put this, you have to listen again, yes, you rewind your video, and I'm going to say the answers, yes, stop the video, then listen to the answers. Okay, one, sheep are reflecting, blah, 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 two, no, three, first of April, story two, one, flu 20 euro notes are forget, forked, two, yes, three, first of April, story three, one, the young woman, has filled her father's car with petrol, but it is a diesel car, yes, okay? And uh, number three, yes, and number three, the 1st of April, okay? So, one, oh yeah, three, two, come off it, three, you are having me on, four, that can be right, you must be joking, number five, and number six, are you sure? Yes, okay, so let's go to 77, Yes, okay, and there you have a uh, news rising, yes, in the news, a news story. Read the news story, Georgian woman cuts off web access to whole of Armenia. Oh my God, you have to read it, yes, okay? What she did, pay attention. Okay, do you think it is true or not? Yes, do you think it is a fake news? Uh, explain your reasons to your partner, okay? So read it, yes, uh, I want you to think about this. Do you think it is true? It is false? It is a fake news? Okay. What happened? What was? Uh, who was involved? Where did it happen? Okay. Read it. I'm going to say the answers. Okay. All right. Good. But you stop the video. Number one, it's a true story. Two A, two B, three. Yes. Two C. Yes. Okay. Two A. One, a woman accidentally cut through an underground cable. Two, an elderly Georgian woman. Three, in Georgia. Yes, okay? Good. Two, B. Okay? One, she was digging for metal when she, her spade damaged the fiber optic cable. Two, internet services to Armenia were cut off. A monitoring system detected the damage. A security team went to, sp to the sport. The woman was arrested. Number three. Oh my God, they, were, they are very quick. Okay, possible answers. Okay, could include. The woman was digging off a metal. Georgia provides 90% of Americans' internet. Web users in the nations of 3.2 million people were left um, without internet. The cable, was, the cable is protected, but apparently... Landslide or heavy rain might have left it exposed to the surface. Yes, okay. The woman uh, has been called the spade hacker by local media, <laughs> but it was accidentally. Yes, okay. She was called a hacker. Yes, okay. Number uh, three, I want you to go there. Okay, accidentally B, two, unfortunately E, temporarily, temporarily C, immediately A, and five, apparently D. This was exercise three. Okay, good. I want you to do B, A and B, yes, okay? Good. Apparently, both are possible in number two. Number three, uh, amazingly, is crossed out. Four, rapidly, is crossed out. Five, sadly, is crossed out. And six, slowly, is crossed out. And this is uh, what you have to do, that is exercise six. Yes, from here, exercise five, well, five and six, you have to read from page 77. Write um, uh, your story in about 100 and 200 words, but I want you to write in 150, okay? Yes, uh, remember to write a, a very, a very catching, a very interesting headline, yes, okay? And uh, did the headline make, um, you interested in reading the story? Yes. Sometimes there are more interesting headlines than, than others, yes, but 
the headline in a new story must be attractive, must be interesting, must be catchy, okay? Let's go to the grammar and then I'm going to finish with the explanation of the news, okay? I'm going to give you an example, all right? So let's go to page 80, exercises 1, 2, 4 and 6, okay? Do then. I'm going to dictate. Now is the time that you pause the video, okay? And do the activities, okay? And I will dictate. Number one, are. Number two, might have. Number three, couldn't have. Number four, could. Number five, is. Number six, so that. Number seven, could have. Number eight, to. Number nine, may. And number ten, four. Okay? Your uh, revisions for unit five were very good. Yes? Okay? Good. Uh, yeah, well, there was some part that you forgot. Yes, I think the, you did the grammar, but not the, uh, the written part. Yes, pay attention. Yes, number two, I have here. Yes, okay, which was that one? Okay, you did the grammar, but you didn't do the reading and the writing for unit uh, Five, okay, from the revision unit five. So next time, pay attention, please. Okay, good. Um, what about you? Yes, Sophie. No, uh, Camila. Yes, Sophie's Camila's sister. Yes, okay. Complete everything. I will check your video and I will send you the comment. Read the comments then. Yes, okay. Uh, well, let's go to number one. Yes, it's done. Number two. One A. It might have been part of King Arthur Court. B. Invaders from Denmark, Denmark could have built it. C. It could be the ruins, the ruins of a Roman building. Number two. The larger stones weigh 25 tons and they come from about 30 kilometers away from the site. Yes, the smaller stones originate from Wales to 130 kilometers away. Stone Age is in the shape of a circle. Have you ever gone to see a Stone Age? Yes, I would, be, I would like to be there and see it because it's interesting. Yes, uh, the stones are placed so that they match the sun's highest and lowest points in the sky. 3A, it could have been a scientific observatory. B, it was designed to help aliens land and see it might be a kind of cemetery, yes? So, what do you think uh, Stone Age means? Yes, okay. The way of the... Um, I have seen many documentaries, yes? But the way they, they are... Um, uh, they are ordered is very strange, yes? It's not common, yes? So, it might have been something, yes? Okay, meant something. All right, so let's go to um, page uh, exercise four. Unfortunately, immediately, accidentally, temporarily, 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 okay, apparently and delivery, deliberately, yes, deliberately, yes, okay, good. Um, well, so um, that is solved from the book, yes, okay, and now I want you to uh, pay attention to the news uh, because it is another kind of... Uh, Writing, you have to um, write, yes, so I want you to pay attention, yes, and to see uh, the examples, yes, okay, organize your ideas, a minute please, okay, I will project it, good, good. Pay attention there, revise everything for the revision, yes, okay.
Okay, so public schools closed. Closed. Yes, okay. So this is the Times and the Democrats. Yes, okay. So you have a big title. Yes, okay. A big title. Yes. Excuse me. Sorry. Okay. Okay, public school clubs, other closure delays. Ah, oh, you are again there. Okay, yes. Yes, okay, I will clean the board. Yes, okay, I'm already taking the picture. Remember, you have the. Um, so that we can work better. So that we can work better. Okay. Okay, well, so you have a, uh, yes, oh, again, okay, and it says they are, yes, okay, it says they are public school closed. Yes, mm, MC Master announces closure, cancellations, emergency measures. Yes, and you have a copete. Esto es lo que yo me refiero siempre. Yes, and the, generally it is under the, um, the, um, the headline and it's a brief summary of what the, uh, the long text, the, what the news is going to be about. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Good. Yes, okay. Uh, governor, South Carolina, Carolinas, Governor, Carolinas, Carolinas, Governor, on Sunday announced temporary closures for schools across the state uh, as more cases of new coronavirus uh, emerge, continue to emerge, okay, and blah, blah, blah. Yes, so you know that uh, the text is going to be about this, yes? Remember, you have sub-headlines, tenés subtítulos también, yes? Okay, remember to use a specific vocabulary, a catchy um, an interesting headline, sub-headlines, sub-headlines, okay? And remember the copete, that is the very, very short and a brief summary of what your, the whole news is going to be about yes okay i was going to show you um there was another one yes okay there we are okay now i can see better Okay, uh, announced, yes, okay, continue to emerge, speaking at a news conference, uh, Henry blah 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 announced that all K K-12 schools, yes, colleges, universities and technical schools could be clo good close beginning blah 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 going through the end of March. We are going to blah blah blah. ¿Sí? Las citas, también puedes citar lo que una persona dice. Yes, ok. Uh, yes, there is no need for our teachers and our students to have this anxiety of what's going to happen, to happen on testing. Yes, ok. He noted, yes, note, sorry, note. Yes, another verb there. Uh, Yes, okay. 
these people are looking for this time, blah, 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 all of this could be used, yeah, okay, so in this case, a lot of past is used, yes, so remember when you go back in the past, you use would, yes, okay, um, will be set up, yes, right, future too, because it's talking about the things that might happen, yes, okay, um, yes, and also set, yes, good, and sometimes not all this, the, the news are in past, but also, yes, um, the titles can be in, you, in passive voice, yes, okay, I, I will, public school are closed, for example, yes, to um, um, teen attempts robbery, yes, okay, Barbers go back to ask for uh, receipts, yes, okay, and you have uh, the copete there, the brief, yes, um, the summary there, and then you start your news, yes, okay, to um, strange men caught in the middle of a siesta, yes, in Formosa, yes, for example, to were caught, and that, or are caught, yes, but you use a uh, passive voice yes okay in present and past okay is it clear well so um i hope you organize a very interesting news yes okay and i will correct it um for next class well next class you have to hand the name but remember yes okay how to organize the tenses check before handling okay study for next class bye bye happy weekend